I'm Tony Hagen, Senior Editor with the Center for Biosimilars. Today we're talking with Mr. Byung-Sho Choi, Head of Marketing for Saltrion Healthcare. In part one of this interview, we asked him about the company's efforts to use biosimilar infliximab for the treatment of COVID-19 related inflammation, as well as the company's ambitious plans to launch one new biosimilar each year through 2030. So uh, welcome, Mr. Choi. Um, uh, let's, um, let's start by talking about uh, the company's uh, work on COVID-19 treatments and mm -hmm. your involvement with the Catalyst trial. Um, how did, uh, how did Celtrion's infliximab uh, come to be um, picked uh, for that trial? And what do you know about the evidence for this trial? Mm -hmm. Okay, uh, the Sir Marcus Petterman, the professor at the University of Oxford, is one of the most prominent immunologists in the world. He and his colleagues submitted to last paper describing how Impulsima could be used to treat COVID-19 and suggested an urgent clinical trial. So Sartre Healthcare reached out to the Sir Mark and his associate to discuss collaborating on a trial of uh, Imprishma for COVID-19. We are now partnering with the University of Oxford of University Hospital Birmingham on the cat uh, catalyst trial to understand if the use of CTP-13 biosimilar Imprishma could accelerate the recovery, recovery of patients with COVID-19. As you might know, the emerging evidence is demonstrating a critical role for anti-inflammatory drugs in the cytokine storm associated with the severe COVID-19 infection. CTP-13 has been used for several years in the treatment of multiple inflammatory conditions, which make it a good candidate for trial in the treatment of COVID-19 due to its spread, a widespread availability and well-established safety profile. Uh, finding from various medical literature show that anti therapy such as Impushma could be a potential option in COVID-19. In the registry, international registry of people with the rheumatic disease who were diagnosed with COVID-19, Anti-TNF use of associated with the reduced odds of hospitalization. Um, according to an Italian case report of an adult patient with a severe use and COVID-19, after seven days on Imprishma, the patient intestinal symptoms and general well-being had markedly improved. The patient with a severe use and COVID-19 was successfully treated for both conditions with Imprishma. Uh, great. So earlier this year, you announced intentions to start human trials of therapeutic antibodies for neutralizing COVID-19. Um, is this the same effort you're talking about or, or are there other um, angles that you're taking? Um, yeah, in terms of clinical in initiatives, we are in the process of developing an antiviral treatment specific to COVID-19 and a super antibody effective against the new strains. As there is evidence of inflammatory excess in patients with COVID-19, we are also working toward a trial that will investigate the use of Imprishma as a potential second line treatment alongside the administration of an antiviral. Whilst the catalyst trial aims to show that our drug could delay or prevent the rapid deterioration into intensive care for hospitalized patients. Our antiviral antibody treatment aims to prevent the infection and proliferation of COVID-19. However, both involvement is for the same objective to bring our full resources and expertise to overcome this global health crisis and dedicating to support healthcare system across the world. 
Celtron recently announced the positive preclinical result for its COVID-19 antiviral antibody treatment, which showed improvement in recovery time in an animal model and anticipate starting first in human critical trials in July. Um, so you've, you've announced that um, your, your, your shareholders might not be on board with um, a, a purely altruistic um, uh, effort to develop so, so, uh, COVID treatments. Um, but you want to move ahead anyway for the for the benefit of the uh, world community. Um, can you talk about that a bit? Um, yeah, Saturn Group was among the first that uh, have embarked on the development of the therapeutic antibody treatment and the diagnostic kits on the onset of the global spread of the novel coronavirus in a bid to contribute to stop what would escalate into coronavirus pandemic. As Saturn Group Chairman So Jung Jin said earlier, the development of this solution is driven by our commitment to placing the public interest before our own. Simply put, we are acting on our responsibility as a member of the global pharmaceutical community as we willingly step forward to help address the global coronavirus pandemic. Facing uncertain times during this coronavirus pandemic, we are in line with our uh, shareholders' perspective, uh, their expectations, to create the share the value. By addressing the so societal needs by developing a treatment, we can expand in the market in ways that benefit society and the shareholders simultaneously. While creating value or for our customers, communities, and ultimately our investors. We advise our investors to understand that our effort to develop a coronavirus treatment and diagnosis kits are not commercially motivated. And their investment decisions should be made based on our business record and the underlying value of our product portfolio. Um, how about your um, supply chain uh, during this pandemic uh, and how has that been affected? Uh, and how have you managed to secure your, the, the ingredients that you need for your products? Mm, yeah, to tackle the concern regarding our expected supply chain issues during the pandemic, uh, Sector has run a contingent plan considering each government's response to the ever-changing situation and all available distribution options. Furthermore, Sertrion has been closely working with our partners in global locations and closely monitoring inventory level and the distribution channel so that we plan ahead uh, our maximum manufacturing capa uh, capacity. We have thus secured adequate stocks of our product to avoid our disruption in our supply chain. Okay. Um, so um, let's talk about your ambitious uh, plans to launch biosimilars. You've got uh, a uh, plan to launch one every year through the end of this decade. Um, so uh, uh, please uh, tell us uh, how you're going to make this happen. Yeah, we have now on uh, set up our own sales network and overseas subsidiary in 14 countries throughout Europe to secure competitive needs of our products. Starting with Germany, and UK, and Netherlands, we have started launching the new subcutaneous impression country by country, establishing local operations across major European countries building our commercial capabilities and strengthening our relationship with stakeholders across the mar these markets. 
in order for the market to continue to grow, we need the following. The first one is the competitive price. As competition increases, attaining lower cost is critical for biosimilar manufacturers to support discount and defend against competition. The biosimilar industry needs to keep reducing production and the distribution cost to set the price competitively. Competitive. With this in mind, Saturn Healthcare is working on tight improvement and the high concentration formulation to maximize the price merit. Now the second one is add val added value. The industry should plan to not only develop biosimilars, but also to add value to medicines by developing bioinnovatives. And new medicines that offer enhanced properties, for example, enhanced patient convenience of use. Essentially, biologics are moving toward personalized medicines. In this sense, Saturn anticipates that Ramsham SSC will offer a stable potency and a lower immunogenicity compared to the IV formulation, as well as increased flexibility and convenience through self-administration.